Every leader leaves a legacy. And for nearly a century, generation after generation of Caterpillar leaders have made their mark. Expanding our reach, improving quality of life, and strengthening our reputation as a trusted global industry leader. Now it's our time to shape the future because how we lead today will define Caterpillar's success tomorrow. We are 85 years plus old. The company was founded by two former entrepreneurs before that, of course who have left a long leg legacy around the world in our products. And really when it comes down to it, it's all about the people that have done that. We learn from our leaders really by observing uh, what they do, even more than what they say. Uh, and if our leaders really walk the talk on values, and if our leaders really are embrace uh, commitment and accepting accountability and responsibility for delivering on their goals, then that translates down throughout the ranks in our organization. Somewhere between uh, you know, the financial results uh, that we achieved in an early period of time and setting a goal that we're going to be profitable every quarter uh, and Six Sigma is probably going to be uh, what most people will look back and say I contributed to the company. I guess the thing I'm the most proud of is that when we went into that deep recession for three years, I was glad we got back in the black. You know, it's tough to go to board meetings four times a year. I'm wondering whether you're going to get fired, and I think if we were probably in the Dow Jones, 30 companies then, either Lee Morgan or I would have gotten fired because of shareholder pressure. But you just uh, do the best you can and, and make it come out uh, the way it did. Survival was our biggest challenge was survival. Uh, we had bet the company, in effect, and we, we decided that we would sooner do that than go down a uh, slice at a time over a period of years as we saw some of our competitors like International Harvester and as we thought people like General Motors would. So uh, that and uh, certainly a, a very strong board of directors that uh, stuck with us but also were very tough in demanding results were certainly motivating factors for us. What I'd really probably like to be most remembered for is the people side of the equation. Uh, walking the talk on our values and action, I think, in my own personal uh, style. Uh, but seeing us uh, drive those concepts through the organization and get spectacular improvement on uh, personal safety and get dramatic improvement in engagement. Six Sigma came in my era and I think it did a whole, uh, it, it, it really changed the game in terms of our people being involved and our people having an opportunity to show their capabilities. And I think uh, aside from some of the tremendous uh, cost savings that we realized as a result of Six Sigma that we'd uncovered a whole new realm of Caterpillar management. It's important to get up with uh, energy and enthusiasm and commitment and to work with the highest levels of integrity day in, day out, every day, uh, so that the organization knows you're giving your best shot. And that you put the organization first, not yourself. But the legacy is indicative of one's management personality, the kind of leadership you provide, the ability to communicate among people. That's what I think established the yellow blood we speak so much about. First of all, it's not about you. It's about the company. But there are some things that uh, don't change and I don't care what the atmospherics are. Don't get hung up on the atmospherics. It's about product. Do you have the best product? It's about services. Do you have the best services? Are you competitive? If you're not competitive, if, if people are eating away at your market share and taking your business, uh, there's something wrong. And then are you satisfying your owners, the shareholders? Those things are universal. They don't change from, from uh, Louis, Mill, Mill, Louis Newmiller to Bill Blackie to uh, Lee Morgan, uh, George Schaefer, or whoever. Uh, those things, they're fundamentals. I think heavily about those that left me things. All the way back from my rep days in South America in 1981 
in the famous story of a Caterpillar vice president leaving in a ship in New York, sailing south, all around South America, back up the West Coast. And to this day, you can find those sales and service agreement dates on that trip that go back into the 20s. That's a legacy. And I'm kind of into that, and I like that kind of thing, and the history of our products, and the history of our dealerships, the history of where we've been around the world, and the great brand name that so many people associate with. And that's the inspiration for me, and, and what is really, particularly as I step into the CEO role, what I think is so important to us, because customers like to hear that. They like that leading brand name. Everybody likes to be associated with a leader, and that's what we have to be, will be, and the legacy I'm sure going to try and continue to leave for those way, way into the future. You are a leader. And this is your Caterpillar now. Every action you take, every decision you make, every word you speak matters. The next generation is listening, watching, and learning how to be the leaders of tomorrow. What will your team learn from you? How will you develop people and Caterpillar for the generations to come? What will your legacy be? Well, as I think about leaving this room today and the legacy that each one of us have a responsibility to leave, what do I do differently this afternoon? Go change something. Be urgent. Go back with your team, my team, and say we're going to do something different than we've ever done before. Faster, easier, more customer, whatever it is. But we leave here and we go and do fast.